A serial killer sentenced to life in prison says there are more victims than the seven he confessed to killing. Todd Kolhep was convicted of kidnapping Kayla Brown and murdering seven other people in South Carolina. In a letter sent to a local paper, Kolhep claims there are more victims and that he told law enforcement about them. DeMarco Morgan has been following this story. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning to you. A disturbing story here. The Spartanburg Herald Journal printed excerpts from an eight-page letter the paper says it received from Kolop last month. And it's not the first time that Kolop has communicated with the press, but it's the first time he's mentioned additional victims. He would brag about how many people he's killed and how good he was at it. Kayla Brown says during her two months in captivity, Kolop spoke about his other killings. He said he was near the three-digit mark, so almost 100. After his arrest, Kolop confessed to killing seven people. Shot him twice, a guy in the chest. And a search of his property revealed multiple human remains. But over the weekend, the Spartanburg Herald Journal revealed an eight page letter from Kolop where he states there are more than seven victims. I tried to tell investigators and I did tell the FBI, but it was blown off. Refusing to give details, Kolop claimed it's not an addition problem, it's a multiplication problem. FBI's response was basically it's a pending investigation and they didn't really say more. Daniel Gross is the Spartanburg Herald Journal reporter who has been communicating with Kolop in prison. I can't get inside his head, so I don't know whether he's being honest or not. Often we'll see criminals reach out to the media. Former FBI agent Catherine Schweit says there are many reasons a convicted killer might talk to the press. It really has to do with part of their personality to be part of the conversation and to, to, to feed their ego or feel like they're in competition uh, with the police. And it's our obligation to make sure that we follow through on any information that we might get and make sure that if there are other crimes that he's held accountable for them. Now, in his letter to the Herald Journal, Kolop also made a reference to traveling across state lines, writing, thank you, private license, private pilot's license. And it's not clear at this time if he made this reference to other alleged killings. Just a sad and disturbing story. Oh, very much so. so sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, DeMarco. Thank you. Thanks, DeMarco.